about 4.30 Eastern Time. Hope everybody's having a good week and has a nice weekend they're looking forward to. Let me see. <clears throat> I just went ahead. Spencer is finishing up a lesson. He'll be in here in just a second. And I figured I would go ahead and just start the stream because it takes... Uh, a couple of minutes for any for people to even be notified anyway. <laughs> so that gives us a jump start on everything. The club opens in 30 minutes. We have a blitz tournament here on Friday nights. So Ben is going to cover the front area for us. But next week we need to try to figure, try to stream earlier probably is a solution. Yeah, I start can't. <laughs> I hear them talking out in the hall. I heard Ben. Hey, Spencer. Hey, hey I just started, but I mean, it takes a minute or two for people to be notified. I, I can, uh, I'll join you, I guess. Yeah, what I do you mean? I didn't know if I was or not. Oh, yeah, I told you um, that, that I was going to talk to uh, him about covering the front. Yeah, I was just uh, figured I'd go ahead and start. All right. I mean, it's been going for like one minute and 20 seconds. <laughs> All right, let me just get some stuff together. Okay. What are you doing? I was looking at the congratulating you for hey, thank Georgia. Oh, thank you, Kangaroo. And Tier 2, so now we can go. Yay, yeah. thank you, Kangaroo. Okay, we've got people. Hey, Bishop Takes. Um, yeah, I've, um, that's pretty exciting, actually, that, that Georgia went blue. That's the first time in a really long time. But um, the, the, I guess we'll see soon. Um, I think Biden's supposed to give a speech tonight. So I guess we'll get some um, some movement soon in the election. <laughs> but um, hey, bric a -brac. Hey, Neurononum. Here comes Spencer. Hey, 74. And hey... I think I, I think I said hey to you, Stephen Colin. All right, hey again, and hello. How's it going? All right, let me see. scooch, scooch. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it would just save time since the club is opening soon. But Ben said he would cover the front. I I think for next week. I don't know if you remember to talk to your student. I did. But what did he say? He said I, we can do two o'clock. He and I. Oh, okay, that would be better. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that's what we had discussed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just making sure that you can still yeah, come in at one. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Yay. Hooray. <laughs> Trying to work out the streaming. We have to squeeze it in among other life duties and chess club duties, especially now that we're open. So Fridays is tough, but I think we already worked it out. Yeah, can you bring it to me? I've got my tea coming. Thank you. Can you shut the door, too? <laughs> but uh, what are people saying? I can never see. Is that say Joseph? No, it says Joa. Joa. Well, you can't see that very well. I can see it. That green is horrible. It is tough. On the, um, with, with, that's why you got to go dark mode. But yeah. then there are other things you can't see. In dark yeah, mode. that's true. I would try it maybe. Um, yeah, let us know, Kangaroo, if anything happens from a political standpoint yeah already obviously Trump is challenging everything the challenges a lot of times Trump's like I'm winning this state so stop counting the votes then this other state where I'm losing let's keep those votes counting <laughs> that's what he, he had the press conference and he said those two sentences back to back yeah he said uh, oh it's not fair all this fraud in in Michigan and Wisconsin where they keep counting votes but hopefully we can catch Biden in Arizona where they keep counting the votes <laughs> yeah. like what yeah also there's this funny thing i saw on twitter it was side by side uh trump protesters half of them were saying stop the counting and the other half was saying keep counting because <laughs> they were different places so depending on what we want you know <laughs> what's that patty uh, do you have, like, my computer and oh darn i don't womp womp Oh, okay. You can play chess. Hey, you can you can play on the chess club computer that's up front. That's true. 
We can do some chess. Chess, chess, chess. Dude, there's good stuff on there you can do. There is chess base. Cry me a river. Now, come on. I'm crying. Okay, now what are they saying? Chess, question mark? This happened in Brazil, too. But our president won anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Here it's the electronic one. Nice to see that in the U.S. is paper. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we got a challenge from Nerono. Yeah, let's get it going. I forgot his computer. I do feel bad about that. X Clan Farnsworth. Unfortunate. A Stein of Mead. Yes, I do wish I had a Stein of Mead. That man's dopey face. I know. <laughs> but I feel that we've got. He's got more. In him to give. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the tip of the iceberg. It's going to get way crazier than this. He's barely even done anything crazy. Yeah, I know. It's on his way out. I mean, he can't help himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's hard for me to play. To All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean, he's, um, I've been saying all along, he's not going to disappoint in the drama department. Mm -hmm. It'll be a drama bomb. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. The last. Oh, thanks, GM Benjamin Feingold, for gifting a tier one sub. Aw, oh, thank you. I didn't hear the noise. It's 74. I did, but you were busy. Oh. You have, like, a lot of kids or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of activity. Peace activity. Mm -hmm. Biden up by 1,500 in Georgia. Nice. Does this Ben guy have a crush on you? That's a lot of subs. I think he does like her. But does he like like her? <laughs> that is remains to be seen. There we go. Hundred mm -hmm. bits. Thanks, GM Benjamin Feingold. Pretty solid position here, huh? I can't tell who has <clears throat> the better pawn structure. It's the one thing I wish I knew. Anyone who watched my Wednesday stream knows the election outcome. Yes, that's true. Hey, trying to learn. Wait, what are they saying? Oh. <laughs> hey, trying to learn. Yeah. Yeah, Biden, I think, will get 306, yeah. At least. Or at most. Either way. Go Biden. I still think that there's a very good chance they're going to have to physically <laughs> remove him from the White House. You know, a lot of people say, go Biden, but it's actually pronounced Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with that. All right. In Bosnia and Serbia, they're making fun of our elections. That's how you know our elections bad. Yeah. When these countries that I barely even know exist are making fun of us. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure they do exist. But, you know. yeah. Interesting play by both sides so far. <clears throat> Yeah. Country no longer exists, yes. You're always right about everything? What about you said Biden would win 340 or something crazy? And I was laughing and laughing. <clears throat> All stores in Philly areas are sold out of batteries. <laughs> okay. Who's the president of Serbia? I have no idea. <laughs> but you can mock him. I'll mock him. What a joke, that president. President, what's his name? Uh, 
When was Georgia last blue? That is a good question. When was Georgia last blue? 1992, says GM Benjamin Feingold. It's sort of like 1492 Columbus sailed the ocean blue, but it's Georgia blue, and it's 1992. I'm watching Ka Kaisha Lance Bottoms. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> what? It, if Ben says it must be correct, that's true. Eagles fans will throw batteries at you? Is that like when they line up their queen and bishop, they'll throw that at you? She's the mayor of Atlanta. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I don't really live in Atlanta, so I can't know every mayor. <laughs> so what, it's an, it's an extra, is that an extra rook? Last time I said you were up a rook, it wasn't true. All you have to do is play faster and you'll <clears throat> win for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, she is, yeah, <laughs> he's correct that she's the mayor. That's right. Prof L axis. See if Karen's got the technique for this. Yeah, mayor this. Yeah, that was a good shirt that Peter had. Mayor this. <laughs> Classic Peter. I'm shocked you did Futurama trivia on Wednesday when I wasn't there. Well, it'd be too easy for you, Kangaroo, if he did the trivia when you were there. That would just be way too easy. Oh, E7, what about Mayor Quimby? Mayor Quimby is the best mayor. It's not the mayor's fault that the stadium collapsed. Come on, this is too slow. You rook up. All right. <clears throat> Oh, uh, hey, uh, Dancing Tortoise. Yeah, dancing Tortoise. Who cares about that? You're a piece up. <laughs> well, we've only been streaming for, what, 12 minutes or 13 minutes, so it's okay. This isn't you playing faster. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't lie. I mean, I would, <clears throat> but not about that. GM Benjamin Feingold is streaming right after this stream. Stream to stream to get that Karen raid. Mm -hmm. Go Karen. Extra night. What else? I can't wait to see what will South Park do in their next season says E7. Yeah, I don't uh I don't really watch South Park anymore. But uh the South Parks I I have seen are pretty funny. They're sort of hit and miss a little bit. <clears throat> but um it, it reminds me of Family Guy in that way. You know, a lot of Family Guy episodes are really funny, but sometimes they just not funny at all. How's it going, Ken? Good to see you again. I'll do game analysis sigh. It's tough to analyze one game, yes. It's very tough. Hopefully you can survive it though. Big check. It's like it's payday here with that check. Knife H5. Almost knife F5. Just H. Put it in H. That's knife F5 and put it in H. All together at last. Complicated.
Good game. <laughs> Tough but fair. <laughs> All right, so what did I miss? Wasn't nothing, just, you know, nothing serious. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sandy. Nonsense. Hey, Squire. K Westar 52. So what variation of the French is this? Um, what? What variation of the French is this? The French. The French is the opening that you play? Yeah. That's the French. Oh. So what variation of the French is this? Oh, the exchange. Right. So what move should you not play in the exchange variation? Uh, well, obviously one that I did. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Trying to see if you remembered it, though. <laughs> no. C6. Okay. Don't play C6 in an exchange French. That was, in my defense... Um, Knight F6? Then that was right when Archer came in here. Okay. And it was. I, was, I remember thinking, oh, But it should be so in I your bones, quick... <laughs> in your marrows. So I just like, made a quick move. <laughs> yeah, Knight um... F6 is the way to go. <laughs> yeah, GG, nerd. Just don't play C6. Well, only play C6 if they play Knight C3 without C4. That's the only way you'd ever play C6. What's my... Oh, this is Monte Carlo. I said, like, what's Monte Carlo? Oh, I guess that has to do with C4. Oh. Playing C4 so early. Okay. The Monte Carlo variation. So yeah, now you're a little worse. So this is probably going to be an isolated queen pawn when these get traded. Mm -hmm. So you don't want your bishop here because you want to target the pawn. So bishop e7 is a better square in that case. So the, the best way to play against this is to play here and play bishop e7 and then castle. Mm. Easy way to play too, right? Just pretend it's a queen's gambit decline. Easy way to play. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, all normal, easiest stuff to play. <clears throat> so you're worse here. And he took, terrible. Now it's equal. These were all good moves. Oh yeah, I don't know why you don't develop your bishop. Yeah, develop your bishop, come on. This is too passive. This move weakens the white squares a bit, but now you're you're actually losing material here, maybe. Because he, he's got two threats. Yeah, definitely. I thought I was going to lose the deep pawn. Well, then you should play bishop e6 here, certainly. No, I'm, I thought about it. I'm saying it afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's <laughs> what I mean, is that if he plays bishop g5, he's starting your deep pawn. Yeah. So bishop e6 would would <clears throat> secure that situation. Mm -hmm. I think I did end up playing that later, actually. Yeah, much later. A few moves. But okay, you waste the tempo. Now, he could just take and take. Mm -hmm. I don't know... Well, that looks like it wins a pawn, maybe you have some compensation, but he didn't do it. That's where your bishop belongs, yes. See, that's what I said, right? Bishop goes here, the other bishop goes there. You mm -hmm. put your bishops here and here, and then you moved them there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Wasting yeah, yeah, a yeah. tempo, yeah. right. But that's where they should have been, right? <clears throat> here. Again, it's... he could always, like, take and take. Here it's a little complicated, I guess, because you have this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it seems like it should win for white somehow. I mean, I could get two for one doing this. Then you take a rook and I take a piece back. So it's two for one then. I could even throw this in. But anyways, I'm going to be up two pieces for rook. So, yeah, he could always have taken and taken and been winning. Instead, he went here. Kind of a normal move if he doesn't have a winning tactic. Now that's where your bishops belong, yes. Mm -hmm. Great squares for the bishops. <laughs> now you're doing fine again. He hung a piece. I guess he forgot about king takes and bishop takes. <laughs> no, no, king takes, he wanted bishop g6. So he just forgot about bishops moving backwards. But yeah, bishops do move backwards. Mm -hmm. It's one of their many traits. <laughs> it's what makes them better than pawns. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, you know, other stuff. Then here he missed that. Good game so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you just played too slow the rest of the game and lost. And you gotta play faster when you're up a rook. Like, who cares if, I mean, this move, he also could have done this. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, like, you're up a piece. You know, you gotta just play faster. But you wouldn't do it. He's kept playing too slow, and then he, he won, because you played, you hung all your pieces when you had no time. Yeah. So all you gotta do is play faster. Mm -hmm. One day you might do it. Mm -hmm. Also, by the way, here, probably you should play king takes, I guess. Now, wait a minute. I'm sorry, what? Go ahead and then You should play that. So you played here, hang him eight and one. You well, I pre-moved. No. no, I saw you. You thought about it and went here. 
No, I took. You I did not pre-move that. I pre-moved taking the rook. That was after. That was here after this. You oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's too late to order fries by then. Yeah. But yeah, you just gotta play faster. That's all. Then you would have won it. Mm -hmm. No, I know they're seeing something about it's the latest buzz in the chess community. What? You gotta scroll up, I guess. Give me a break. I'm tired. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> I can't give you a break. I know, but I want to know about what is the latest buzz. Lords of Acid has it. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Jalabad Sicilian. Never heard of it. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. That's the latest buzz. Named after a city in Afghanistan. Okay, kangaroos heard of it. If only I, if only you would tell me the moves, then I would know it. it says it's basically a variation on the Stafford. Still not familiar with that. I think that's when you hang a pawn and there's no compensation at all. Hmm. I remember we analyzed the Stafford a little bit, and I was just like, the normal moves just give white a pawn up. So I don't even understand. Mm -hmm. it's, there aren't even traps. I mean, I guess there are, but I don't. I didn't run into them. I just played normal and got a good position. Yeah. All right, so what did you want to look, play again or look at the book or what? Uh, let's see. We're at 20 minutes. I can play one more. We don't right. play it. That it looks like we one. got. Oh yeah, we got another challenge. Yeah, why not? He's in the chat. Did there. you want to uh, me to Joel. play, or did you want to do a Hannah Brain? Maybe just you. Just me. All right. Rest up for these very complex variations you're about to throw at us. Yes. Plus, I got a TD. I got a mm. lot of excuses. Now the book. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you. I'm. Felt like the last time it was hard. Mm -hmm. So. You know that's all. Okay. Noted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nur, you could. So I'm hoping it won't be as hard. <laughs> well, it might. It might be. It might be just as difficult, or yeah. even more difficult. <clears throat> How's it going, John? John, the little wave. I isolated queen pawn every game. Dang. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I do like uh, I do like black here. Gotta mm, say, not living right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, karaoke was fun last night. Oh yeah, what'd you sing? Um, hang on one second. All I right. sang um, <clears throat> CCRs. Uh. Have you seen the right here? Mm hmm Classic song about rain. One of yeah, their many Yeah, one of their songs. rain songs. <laughs> then I did sing something new, but I have to think for a minute what it was. E4, C5, Knight of 3, E5. Also hanging a pawn for nothing, yes. It does seem like the Stafford. <clears throat> I like how E5 not only hangs a pawn, but also is anti-positional. <laughs> so this is no benefit at all. I love it. I can't remember what I said. Ben beat me in a game some days ago. Could you scold him? <laughs> I can't. I can scald him, though, like if I have some hot water. That's the best I can do for you. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> it should be even better for you, I think. Yeah, I don't know why people like to hang pawns on move two and such. I mean, at least wait till move three. You know, the game's defined a little bit. Some aggressive play by Karen here. Also, you said CD was terrible. Should I not take the pawn in those positions and wait for DC? Yes. That, that's a way to go. Hey, Pam. Yeah, I want to see that series, too. <clears throat> oh, Pam loves uh, Queen's Gambit. Yeah, I think uh, Ben is going to watch it, too. I probably won't. He, I don't think he was that interested, but I was. So All right. He said he would watch it. 
<laughs> oh, you think it's great trying to learn? Yeah. I um. Hey, what happened? I took a pawn. It's an isolated queen pawn. Ah. Yeah, I. You know, like in when you're in Netflix. I also can. I was wondering if anybody can. Is there a way to turn off when you're on Netflix and it automatically is like playing stuff while you're hovering over it? You know, because I really hate that. It's so noisy, and I just want to think about what I want to watch. Don't tell me what to do. But um, anyways, when I was when I did have it hovered over Queen's Gambit, mm -hmm. it had this little scene lit where the lady like shows up to register for the tournament, and the guy's like, "Did you bring a chess clock?" And she's like, "No." And then he starts talking about like they have a clock, you know, policy that you can you can borrow a clock. And I'm like, this wouldn't happen in a chess tournament. <laughs> like, when people come in for the blitz, am I asking them if they have a clock? And here's my policy. On, you know, it's ridiculous. Huh. <laughs> I was like, I'm not watching this. <clears throat> I know too much about chess. So it would just irritate me, I think. Yeah, that does sound annoying. Yes, you can turn that off. I was looking all through the... No, I was looking all through. And I couldn't find... All through the settings. I couldn't find how to turn off the autoplay or whatever it's called. The preview, I guess. Maybe I have to Google it, actually, instead of doing nothing, which is what I did. Shit. God damn it. Pam says, I don't remember that part, and I just saw it. Oh, peace. <laughs> I saw it. Well, Pam, mm -hmm. it might have been in episode one, and, you know, you forgot that because you've already watched the whole series, so. That's how they do it at your club? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they ask you about if you have a clock and here's my policy on providing clocks and I don't think so Bruce Pandolfini was a chess consultant yeah, also uh, I heard Kasparov maybe as well I don't know if that's true but that's what I heard <clears throat> yeah yeah that's the problem though buzzard bait is that I just know too much about chess it's kind of tough. Like you, you know when a like a, imagine like a an historian watching like, you know these, these, dramas like t that take place in, you know the Vic Victorian era or, or whatever. They'd be like, oh, none of this would happen. You know, it sort of ruins the immersion for them. Mm -hmm. John John says the only thing that they found ridiculous was that, the main character would sometimes sit at the board and then, they'd spend time thinking about her first move. <laughs> yes. Well, maybe that's like Bronstein, you know. Top right, edit profile, pick a profile, autoplay control. Hmm, all right. On desktop Netflix. So I can do that on my desktop net, on like at home, and then it'll fix it so it won't do that if I'm watching it on my TV. Because i got a smart TV. It's pretty smart. And it has net, uh, Netflix installed like as an option, you know. You guys know how it is, so. Yeah, I, I, maybe I can't do it on my TV and I have to do it on desktop, like how you're saying. Edit profile, autoplay control. I can remember that. Right, an historian watching Pearl Harbor would be like, none of this happened. Oh, Ken confirms that Kasparov did advise, yes. Go, frankly, a go-go. Wake me up before you, frankly, a go-go. <clears throat> Beth Harmon just never heard of a clock. She learned on her own. Hmm. Right, right. Oh, I understand that, trying trying to learn, yes. How's it going, Codex? Two bishops about to else. Oh, my dad said that uh, Pac-Man mentioned him on stream, and they're going to have their lesson soon. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I'm going to try to pre-move in the next Over the Board game. <laughs> I've, uh, I've seen people, like, sort of do that. Like, they'll hover their hand over like they're ready to move. Oh, GM Benjamin Feingold with another 100 bits.
always play bishop f1. Oh, mm. thanks for subscribing, Codex. Why was that a blunder? You could have just gone back to the same square you were at. <clears throat> you know, you're, yeah. you're on c4, you just go back. It was just repeating. You know, you go here and then there, and then you go back. Same position. Yeah. Also, what was wrong with this? Um. Is it here? I guess you're concerned. About? Well, they're devil. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, either way, he's up a bishop, yeah. so resigning's not ridiculous. But... Yeah. I thought I was losing more material. I wasn't. <laughs> what were you doing? Hey, Market Sands. Um. What am I doing? What am Let I me just doing? catch up on the chat for a second, then we can start the lesson. So what are people saying? I know you were reading it, but I wasn't No, I did not watch that recent tournament with Kramnik and Gelfand. They were talking about, you know, Queen's Gambit, mostly. Mm. Yeah, we got that train going. Yay. Thanks, SC, SC Wenji. So you think they should have explained how a regular clock works, too. <laughs> <laughs> so they're saying that the clock thing that you're complaining about was there to educate the audience wow thank you gm benjamin fine goal five subs yeah our train's getting crazy now <laughs> ben loves Choo -choo. the trains oh you couldn't see me but i did this <laughs> it was a little out of frame uh, <laughs> oh trains are fun level one complete what a chess clock level two is complete also election celebration lesson hey computer flight Oh, yeah, I didn't see their computer flight. Mm. Snuck in on Codex, uh, hey. Well, has there been any, any movement? In the electoral votes? Yeah, like with the election, probably not. Right. I think Biden's going to speak tonight. Do you remember what I recommended you to play against the English? Um, let me see. No. E6. Okay. E6, D5, just like the French, just like a Queen's Gambit decline. Okay. That that way, you it's one opening, you know. You just have to play Queen's Gambit decline. Thanks, 100 bits for Market Sands. Mm-hmm. Throw is... away the game score. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It was mm -hmm. a well-played game. Uh-oh. Here. Thank you, Market Sands. <laughs> now, G3 is a very weird move in this position. D5 blacks should be better now. I mean, D4 is a better move, obviously, frankly. Mm -hmm. Also, even E3 is a little weird. Like, if you want to play with E3, usually knight F3, knight, F knight C6, then E3. In fact, E3 here, C6 is probably the best move, which is what you do anyway, so it's kind of nice that mm -hmm. that happened. Because mm -hmm. now, uh, yeah, I mean, now black's better. Take is probably okay. You could also consider to push Mm -hmm. I thought about it. Should be a little better there, too. Yes, yeah, so you have a great version of an isolated queen pawn here. You could even consider this sacking a pawn. Well, no, he could just trade everything. He doesn't have to take with the pawn. So never mind that. A6, okay. I like that move. That stops this maneuver. Mm hmm Okay, B5's fine, I guess. So this move's interesting. You're provoking F3, which maybe he doesn't have to play it. Also, I still want to try to push D4, but then this is hanging, and it's getting a little complicated <clears> there. <throat> Thank you for those 100 centuries, GM Benjamin Fungo. Okay, but yeah, here <clears> you, <throat> you blundered the pawn here. Your pawn's attacked three times. It's only defended once, so you have to just go back with your bishop. Thanks, okay. SC Wang. Yeah, thank you. For 100 bits. Thank you, Squang. Squang. <laughs> it's like Shwing. Takes, takes, takes. So now you're worse. But you're, it's actually still okay because, you know, this is bad. Mm -hmm. But he does have two bishops, Vatalis, and an extra pawn. So probably could lose. Now he should always be playing E4, I'm pretty sure. But okay, he's got to deal with some vague threats. Oh, but then you hung the knight, right? I remember that. Yeah. yeah. As soon as I moved, I was like, oh. Right. Yeah, but you're still, like, you got play here. 
You gotta put your knight there, I think. Yeah. Then if he plays this, you can try to get in here too, because you got you got compensation because this is so bad. You mm -hmm. put these both these pawns back, and then you're in rough shape. Although the pawn would be hanging, but. Hey, thanks for another 110 bits this time. Yay, thank you, Buzzer Bay. One upping you guys who only mm -hmm. gave 100. 110. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give 110%, right? That's right. And then, uh, yeah, okay, you're down a piece the rest of the game, so. Yeah, that was tough. Tough but fair. <laughs> you can't get no compensation. <laughs> I can't get no. <laughs> All right, so how about the book, huh? Yeah, let's go for it. I was surprised. Um, that when we were karaoke last night, it wasn't crowded. Yeah, I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. With the other place closed. Are you going to go tonight? Um, it'd be tough to go tonight. Right. I have to go when Ben got home. I wouldn't rule it out. But not likely. Mm -hmm. Wear your big boy pants, son. <laughs> That's what the mayor Philly told him. I'd love it if the mayor were a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be better. <laughs> a nasty woman? Oh, yeah, no, definitely a nasty woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only kind. <laughs> it's the only kind that I know. <laughs> You try and sack all the time, but you can't get no. And I try, and I try. Mm -hmm. All right, here it's some two attacking maestros here. Stein, who we've already seen, and Tall. Yay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Stein has white here, and it's white to play. Make sure I set it up right. <clears throat> this is Stein Tall from 61. Cool. Still white to play. Tall comes up a lot in this book. Well, this section's all about attacking the mm -hmm. king, although his king's going to be attacked this time. Is Ben doing a lecture on Tall? And, um... Botvinnik? Yeah. Yes, on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. This coming Tuesday, it'll be Tall Botvinnik 1960. Their, yeah. their match, their first match. Which, spoiler alert, Tall won. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, Botvinnik won the rematch. Yeah. Unless uh, unless he didn't get a, didn't win the rematch. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that, yeah, Botvinnik lost and then won the rematch a couple times, so it's kind of confusing to me. Hmm. All right. So, anyway, in this position, who, what is it? Is it right to play? Yes. Okay, sorry. Let me look before the chat finds it. Biden up 4,000 in Georgia. Yeah, wow. Nice. Oh, yeah, you'd assume that he'd be up more and more because mm -hmm. of the mail-in vote votes. Go, Jin. Mm -hmm. Is your, is, does this section have a name? It's the same as last Oh, time. the same section, okay. As creating a barricade or something like that. <clears throat> Biden could lose Georgia and also lose Pennsylvania and still win. <laughs> Biden could lose both mm -hmm. if he gets Nevada. That's 270. Yeah. Assuming he's won Arizona, which I think he did. <clears throat> AP already called Arizona for him, but some, uh, like other people, didn't. Okay. Well, that's true, Mepex, but I don't have to let you get your piece back, right? I can just take once. And then move my king after you. You do it to it. Joao. Joao. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. 
Uh, okay, yes, yes. Corrected the situation there. Ghost Baron, says Ralph. How's it going, Ralph? I don't know if I've seen you on here uh, on hey. this stream in a while. Hey, Ralph, how's it going? <laughs> Love the, uh, <clears throat> the use of those emotes there. Mm -hmm. Good old Ralph. Yeah, I feel a pretty rainbow one. Right. The LGBT mm -hmm. he didn't, plus one. He didn't use the 420 one. I... Thank you for using the proud one instead. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, why don't I see it? Well, what about some candidate moves? <clears throat> well, all my energies were focused on that E6 pawn. So you want to sacrifice? Yeah, I was kind of trying different things over there. Congrats, Joe Biden, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but the the theme here right. is creating the the barrier. The bar that's the right. barrier. You that's remember true. what the parenthetical part was? Oh yeah, D five. Yes, yes. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, the sacrifice on D five. Oh, that's right, because that's how it helps create the barrier. Right. So we're going to be sacrificing on D five, not E six. Why wasn't he looking at the right thing? All right. Well, now well, then I guess it's the knight or the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> One of those two. That's there for is sure. it right down. Kangaroo figured it out. Right. Well, he said, you know, he suggested one of those two. All right. Neuronotum also likes knife F5. <clears throat> I don't blame him. <laughs> Frankly, Gogo asks, what if one of the poll observers is Giuliani and he snuck a bunch of votes in his pants? Yes. That would be... That would be something. Knight d5 was afraid of knight b3 check. Well, knight takes b3 would probably answer that. <clears throat> like almost, That wins the queen, your variation. <laughs> knight d5, knight takes b3 check, knight takes b3, wins the queen. Queen a4, knight b6 fork. The whole chapter is not about playing knight d5. It's uh -huh. a sacrifice on d5. So what about bishop d5? Right, that's the question. Bishop mm. d5 or knight d5? Mm. I like just bishop. Any particular reason? Well, because if you put your knight there, they just may not do anything. Well, it's threatening bishop on e7. Um, true. But can't they just move back? No. Always play bishop f8. That would actually hang f6. Oh, yeah. But they could defend their bishop. Like, rook h8 looks normal to mm. me. I thought if you went bishop d5, then... Um, if they don't take, you can take, and then you can put your knight there. That's exactly right, actually. Yeah. You'd like to take his bishop. This bishop's really good. Mm -hmm. This bishop is not good. I was just talking about this with my student today, because he likes to play the knight orf. Yeah. We were looking at the Sozin variation... And I was remarking that the bishop here, it's pretty double-edged because it puts a lot of pressure on e6. However, it it's also can't move. Like, it can't make any move without being sacrificed. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of the point here is this bishop's bad. The sacrifices on e6 lose a piece. And, I mean, the guy's already castled, so you're not going to really be chasing him around like we saw in the other variations, for example. Um... You're out. Have a good one. Is Bye, it, Pam. Is it too <laughs> hard, or you just got something to do? Maybe it's too easy. No. It's like, this is boring. Come Bye, on. Pam. I knew it was Bishop D5 forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Bishop D5 is exclam. If Knight D5, Rook H, E8, exclam, says Panchenko. We were talking about this and this, and I said it wins the queen. The queen's trapped. The only square she can go to is here, and then it's a fork. That's right. why it wins the queen. John, John. Oh, I see. Yeah, I didn't see that either. Also, even this is still hanging, so I don't need to calculate that even. So yeah, bishop d5. Not always knight d5, like uh, Neuronotum said, right? <laughs> bishop mm -hmm. d5. In fact, I, I doubt he'll ever play knight d5. Just kidding. <laughs> knight d5. Exclam. Mm-hmm. 
and he took it. Free piece, right? Here's another variation, rook h, g8, hitting the queen. However, there is a double x clam in the air. Boom shakalaka. What a move. I love that move. So here's the idea. If you take with the king, I fork you and win the rook. Saving my queen. Mm -hmm. And we traded these and then I took a whole rook, so I'm just going to be up a rook. If you take my queen and I take your queen check, then I can take this. So that's not going to be bad for white in any universe. Um, there was a move I was concerned about, but I already forgot it. I guess moving the queen, right? Queen b5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about queen b5? Maybe hopefully it gives that move. Let's see, b3? <clears throat> it gives the move b3 here as an option. What? That's crazy. Well, let's look at that variation first, huh? B3. So the idea is to confuse and infuriate the opponent, I guess? Well, I guess it's to take and go here, right? For a yeah. new queen. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. takes it. Ignoring all the hanging queens <laughs> and hanging knights. What was that noise? It was a sneeze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is this a for real variation? This is crazy. So one point is you can't sack your queen and win my queen, because if you sack your queen, I take your queen. Mm -hmm. And if you ever take a knight, I take a bishop. So everything's sort of hanging together. Just plays knight c3. So there is an idea to trap the queen as well. Although knight c3 just seems totally insane to me, right? Like your queen's hanging too. Mm -hmm. And doesn't knight c3 allow this? It would seem that way. He doesn't give that though, he just gives d5 as an option. Leaving everything hanging, as usual. Yeah. Here, f5. To try to get this going too, I suppose. And also knight e4. But then rook takes e4. I mean, none of these moves I would play for either side, right? This variation's nuts. I wouldn't consider b3. I wouldn't play a takes. <laughs> With all the stuff hanging. Check I would play, though. <laughs> Check I would definitely play. And this move makes sense, too. Yeah. But then it starts to get crazy here. I gotta say. It starts to get crazy here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is insane, Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was surprised they didn't take the queen. <laughs> Right, like why not here take the queen at least? Yeah. Is it because of check in here? Because then we could at least play knight b3. What about knight b3? Why aren't you guys talking about knight b3? Like that looks like a crushing move. I want to analyze that. If I go this way, you take here. Anyways, the queen is always hanging if I check you, right? Mm hmm. This variation doesn't make any sense to me at all. I did read the moves correctly, though. I'm looking and making sure. Hmm. Oh. Like, why not knight b3? Knight b3 is just so obviously good. Hey, Olim's 29. But like I said, I mean, even <clears throat> b3 you wouldn't really consider here. Right? I don't think. What now? What about b3? You wouldn't really consider it. Let's see. Bishop f8, queen h5. Hitting this. That's one move variation. That's easy to understand. h5, queen h4. Also. Ends the variation. These are a lot shorter variations. Queen h4 makes sense because, you know, if this bishop collapses or moves, then we get queen f6. <clears throat> that would be very strong. But okay, the moral of this 
book is E takes D, right? Which is what he played. Yeah. Yeah, we need an adult. <laughs> I need an adult, <laughs> that's for sure. E takes D. And now we're threatening this so he can go here. But knight c6 again. Four king. So it looks like white's winning back the material, but don't forget, black has some counterplay. Right? Mm -hmm. Black has some counterplay. <clears throat> if you go back and try to hunker down to defend this, it hangs the b-pawn with check. And after king c8, queen c4, x-clam. Let's figure this one out, huh? Queen c4, x-clam. I, I figured out the idea. He wants to play b4, and then queen takes a6. That's the idea. So how do we defend that, huh? This whole game is made up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, a5, maybe? Kind of lets us in here, though. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, this looks like white has incredible compensation for a piece <laughs> based on... Uh, <laughs> I'm almost ready to go back to selling. <laughs> yes, yes. Based on... Again, it's this is the whole point of this section. This this is the barricade or barrier. I forgot what it yeah. was. And barrier. Often we're getting knight on c6, aren't we, in these variations? Mm -hmm. We sack this knight and our other knight goes to c6. But even here, this is different, this tall game, because he already castled. Like, a lot of times the king's here, and then we're just wailing on him. But here he's castled, so we it's a little bit tougher. But we also have other good ideas, like lifting our rook is simply pretty strong. If he plays a5 and we lift our rook up, it's hard to defend the pawn. Mm -hmm. So this looks like very good long-term compensation. This is weak. Worst pawn structure ever. Weak king. Knight on c6 is great. And we have a lot of plans. You know, yeah. that's what you want. You want ways to continue the play. You don't want to, like... <clears throat> You know, you don't see any continuation. You need to continue the play. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, the Silman was a little bit... Um, it was more technical. Mm -hmm. This is more complex. Yeah, I would agree with that. And, uh, yeah, um, Queen B6 was suggested in some position, but they played Queen C7 to protect the bishop, for the record, so... Mm -hmm. That's why it was Queen C7, not Queen B6. Hey, Virus City. Yeah, Stein died early. Yes, yes. 38. Hmm. Very early. What did uh, he die from? I don't know. So queen a2 is what Tall played. So Stein won back the piece. And is now pretty happy. Knight c6. Tall is trying his best though, huh? If king b7, rook e8 sets a mating net, rook b8 mate. So he played rook b6, not what you want to play, obviously. And then always play king b1. Nice. Always play king b1. How's it going, pprts1? <laughs> hey, pprts1. Yeah, sneak it on over. Mm -hmm. Always do that. Knight a4. What's the idea of knight a4? I guess knight takes here or knight check. Although knight check might... No, oh, it works. That works. I was thinking I could take here and then take there, but I only have one queen. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Rook d4, x clam. Knight takes b2. So if you take the queen, I take check and win your queen. Or you sack your queen for the rook again. We trade queens then. And rooks. So he just plays king c1. Always play king back to c1. <laughs> Ignoring that. So Tall has to save his queen. And now he's offering a queen trade. And Stein's okay with it because your knight's going to be trapped at the end. You trade queens, your knight's stuck, and then you're going to lose your knight eventually like that. Or knight b3. So he doesn't trade. He just moves his king out of the way. Of course, black wants to trade, but, you know, he loses his knight. That's bad. So here... Counterattack, X clam. Queen A3, X clam. The point is if you take here, don't take the queen because then we'll take back with check or take with the rook and save our rook. You take this. 
Now your queen's hanging and your rook is hanging. If you move your queen away, I'll take your rook and I have two rooks for a queen. So he didn't do that because that would just trade queens or trade two rooks for a queen. So he went back x clown. He's still trying to trap the knight. That's the key point. He still has to trap that knight because why not free knight? So Tall is like, dang, my knight's going to get trapped. Let me sack the exchange for a pawn, right? Sacking that exchange for a pawn. I take your rook, you take my knight. Well, but then this is hanging, right? Oh, okay, so takes the rook, knight here, hitting the rook. And the knight and rook are both hanging. But anyways, Stein avoided this. He just played knight a5 check. x clam. That is x clam, huh? Because if you move your king, I just take your rook for free rook. Mm -hmm. That's a whole rook. You don't have to take my knight mm -hmm. anymore. And also your knight is still trapped. So I guess the best move is to sack the exchange. But then your knight's still trapped. Even after, because of the rook's here. So you just would lose a rook then. So instead of doing that, Tall just resigned. <laughs> so many x clams. Yes, a very sharp game. <laughs> As you'd expect from Tall and Stein, a lot of x clams. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole point is bishop d5, trade the bishop away, now the king is weak, and then knight d5, our classic sacrifice that we've seen. And then knight c6, we've seen that idea as well. <clears throat> and this is hanging, this is weak, the king is weak, the pawn structure is awful, more than enough compensation, probably winning by force. That's five exclams. This was so many arrows he had to resign, <laughs> exactly. All right, next. How about mm -hmm. the next one, huh? Yeah, let me see what time. Yeah, we've only been going 57 minutes. So that's good. Let's see. It's 530. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in good shape. Here's another tall example. It looks like tall might be doing the winning, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We'll put some pawns on the board. <clears throat> All right. This looks like the right position. And white to play. So the player with white this time is tall. Tall would much rather have white in a Sicilian than black. Although he played black in a Sicilian also often against the Great Dane, Bent Larson. This is from 1965. It's white to play. Yeah, I did notice <clears throat> that Tall, uh, he, you know, wouldn't necessarily have such great games as black against one e4. He would like to play a Benoni against one d4. And, uh, <laughs> GM Benjamin Feingold says probably knight b1 or knight e2. <laughs> yes, probably. Uh, anyways, when he played black against d4, he would do very well in a Benoni. When he had white, he'd be sacrificing every game. But black against 1e4, he didn't have such a great time compared to his other other openings. Somebody asked if this was a 960 game. This just looks like the most normal Sicilian ever. This looks like every Sicilian ever. This is like Kasparov, Kasparov from the Kasparov Open. Mm -hmm. We're still sacking on the same square. I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not telling us if we're, if we're still in that section? You have to figure out what the best move is. Okay. That's all. It's a chess game. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that, that being a hint. So I'd be glad we weren't out of that section. All right, but we are still in the section, and that's why GM Benjamin Feingold jokingly suggested yeah, these moves. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I guess it's knight d5 then. It's just one that's not so cute. I don't have my own channel, Virus City, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, so knight d5. Right? Mm -hmm. Come on, we already knew that was happening. Knight d5 is interesting here. It's not necessarily winning or the only move. He gives interesting exclam question mark. 
tall sacrifices. I mean, in this situation, you could play this move with a straight face because you're blocking the A pawn. So, you know, it's kind of safe for your king. And then you could just continue attacking on this side of the board. Mm -hmm. So, but he decides to play knight d5. And there are obviously a lot of uh, benefits. But this is different than other examples that we've looked at. Let me first read what he has to say. Even when the defender can refute the attack with accurate play, this is very hard to do in practice. There is a general rule that attacking is easier than defending. Thanks for subscribing, Virus City. Thank you, Virus City. Yeah, queen on b8 is normal, yes. All right, so he plays knight d5. So the author is implying that this is not correct, actually, mm -hmm. that he is losing or worse after this. But it's difficult to defend. And I will say that compared to the other examples, here's some differences. One is that, again, black is castled, right? So because of that, um, because of that, you know, you're not going to be crushing him in the center of the board. Also, we don't get anything on c6 either. We don't get knight c6, right? Mm -hmm. So, the, you know, we won't have that going for us. But our bishops look pretty good because we got that pawn out of the way for our white square bishop. I don't know. I mean, it seems like this is a, the best version of the sacrifice that black has had that we've seen. Right? Black looks the safest as possible so far in this book. At least. Mm. Uh, let's see. So here's a note by Tall. The piece sacrifices of a positional character being based on the invisible barrier that exists along the open e-file. Various squares along it, such as these two. I guess everything's being controlled on the e-file. Mm -hmm. So it's tough for black to control the center there. Um, and his rook will soon appear on e1, says Tall. Larson plays f5. Uh, let's see. The continuation to g6 x clam was a possible refutation of White's idea, but one needs great courage and excellent power of calculation to decide so to weaken the king side. To decide so to weaken the king side. This is those are the words that it says. Mm. <laughs> Come on, translator. <laughs> Could have done better than that. <laughs> it looks as though white can open the h file, as was suggested by John John. Just push it, Harry. Mm -hmm. But black also has his Donald Trumps. Knight c5. Takes here. And bishop f5. So they take the white square bishop, so the bishop is supporting. If you take, I'll take with the bishop, probably, I would guess. Mm -hmm. No, no, actually, he does take, but actually takes with the pawn. Mm. Which it does, well, I guess if you take with the bishop, it's allowing f5, now that I'm looking at it in my brain. I'm not looking at it at the board, obviously. F takes, and then sacrifice. This is a variation. Threatening that. The idea is that if you go here to defend, I can mate you in two or three if you give up your bishop here. Uh, but after rook a7, black is not going to get mated and is up a piece and a rook. <laughs> up a piece and a rook. Yeah, now this is not mate because I didn't put my rook on f7, so I'm just escaping. And now the bishop is, is pretty good here. We can keep playing this variation, though, here. If there, that move is maybe a draw. Or we can at least, uh, well, let me see if I got a text vote here. Maybe somebody will tell me the right answer. No, no, it's just just a tweet. <laughs> just a text to tweet. I don't know, this looks like some compensation, right? Because if we go here and they check us, our queen is hanging, so we have to repeat, right? And, and oh yeah, yeah. And anyways, if here even our rook is hanging, so we could defend this way though, or like just defend our bishop. No, no, we have to we have to do it like this. Yeah, we have to defend it this way. Yeah, that's what Ralph says. Queen d8. Bishop f8 is better, even though it's illegal. Good suggestion, James. <laughs> Unless you meant in a different position, but yeah, if I go, if we go here, Bishop F8's not legal because it's pinned. 
So yeah, instead of rook f7, queen d8 looks like the defense. You can't really defend here, though, but queen d8 should work. Hey, yes. Galodian 2000. Oh, Galodian's back. <laughs> so, okay, no mate there. But how are you going to calculate all that from here? You're not, right? You're not going to calculate it from this position. You're not going to say g6 is safe because h4, h5, I can take the bishop, play bishop f5, and they have no mating pattern. <laughs> That'd be tough. You'd have to be very brave to do that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Even if you didn't see a win, you'd think maybe they can win. So f5. Uh, rook d e1. This is what Tall was talking about. He wants his rook on the e-file because he's controlling the e-file very well. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to use this rook because this rook might be, you know, for mating time on h1. Huh, no problem, James. Come on. You can suggest stuff. It's okay <laughs> if it's wrong. I suggest wrong stuff all the time. Come on. Rook f7. If bishop d8. Queen h5. Knight c5. Exclam. That's the point of queen h5. We're trying to take and get our queen in here. Or even maybe g6. After that. Takes check. Get rid of that guy, right? He looks pretty, pretty good. Now if we take this way, they check and take with the queen. So king b1, x clam, always play king b1. <laughs> you didn't think he'd take always play king b1 so seriously, <laughs> did you? No. When he takes your bishop and forks you, you still don't take back. You always play king b1, <laughs> no matter what. Hey, Southern Chris. Knight e1. If knight f4, we can play queen h6. So knight e1 instead. And then here comes g6. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can, who can find mate in one? Mate in one, mate in one. <laughs> um, oh, I found it. I think it's um, G8 is knight. Yes, make a knight. <laughs> yeah. Mate. Yay. Every chess player's dream, promote to a knight with mate. <laughs> who wouldn't like that? King B1, quintuple, exclam, sextuple, exclam. Yeah, I love promoting to a knight mate. All right, so bishop D8 loses, not necessarily for specifically that variation, but that's a logical variation. Mm -hmm. So King B1 is quadruple, exclam. So rook F7. King B1 is your dream, then? Yes, yes. <laughs> Instead of promoting to a knight mate, <laughs> you'd rather play King B1, yes. <laughs> I mean, promote, King B1 is much stronger, like, much more difficult of a move to play in that variation than Mate in 1. Mate in 1 easy. Mm -hmm. But King B1 not taking back the piece and letting your rook hang and everything is, uh, yeah, that, that would be a lot of X climbs. H4. John John says, why no on Passant not getting a bishop blocked? Oh, after F5. He means, like this. That would allow these pieces to be pretty good. Right, we'll take here. I'm happy to trade these guys off, right? Because your bishop's killing me. All of black's pieces got better because of that exchange. Whereas only one of white's pieces got better. So that's why he kept the pawn on, on f5 instead. That's a good question, though. And black is just hoping uh, to close it down. Like, if we push one of the pawns, you'll push past. Or we go like this. And so white is like... Not is not going to do that until he, unless he sacrifices, right? He's going to like sacrifice like we saw, and and not close it down so much. He's going to make sure that it, it can't be locked down like that unless he has a good sacrifice. So that's what that's what Tall is going for here. In you know in a broader sense. Even better for running to a third knight. Yes, Nerononos favorite. Greens <laughs> <laughs> on the table, right? Yes, bishop b7. Yeah, I'm not going to go over to another board to get a queen, right? Just promote your knight. Oh, it's me. <laughs> nice. Anyways, this rook is overloaded. So he took it and took this. And also the knight's hanging and g7's hanging. This looks terrible for black. It's a piece up, but look at all these threats. And even the long term is good for white. Well, except for being a piece down. But he's got long term plans with these pawns too breaking down the board. So this is tough. 
Knight e5 is what he played. Tricky move, right? No pin. Saving his knight and blocking the bishop. Wait, now, so go back. Yeah. Um, okay. So the last move... He took a bishop. Um... Like, cause it seems like black has some moves too. Like what? Well, um. Cause you got stuff hanging. Don't forget, this is check even. Yeah, the knight is hanging. Well, I was gonna suggest um, bishop takes d five. Yeah. But. Probably he'll take this with check. <clears throat> if you go in here, you run into discovered check, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So you'll so probably check. go here. Now I can do a lot of moves with my queen that look pretty good. This attacks this and that. Mm -hmm. Also, this move looks pretty good to get in here and mate you. That's fine. I just didn't yeah. see the rook check. It's got some threats. So knight e5. Mm -hmm. Attacking the queen. Queen e4. Now everything's hanging. Queen f8. Counterattack. F e. Hits the queen. Because if you, uh, obviously, if you take the rook, he takes your rook. So mm -hmm. here, queen e3. All right, now here in this position, Larson does make a mistake. Although, looking at this analysis, it says white's winning in the best variation anyway. So, he, so probably f5 might have been the losing move in that case instead of g6. He should perhaps take this. He actually played rook f3. But he could take this, like Karen wanted to. Rook takes d4. Queen takes d4. Bishop h1. So now black is a bishop ahead for two pawns. But this pawn's pretty good. And all of black's pieces are on the back rows. Which is kind of funny. But you also have to watch out for some big check, right? So b3 x clan. Escaping. Bishop f3, best defense. x clam. Okay. I'll take his word on that, huh? <laughs> Queen c4, check. <laughs> Work f7. And white is a pawn up and should win. But tall would have to have good technique, which he would. But let's talk about why bishop f3 is the only move, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, still it's losing, so you might say it's not like the only move, but, you know, well, here's a problem. I'd like to play this move, but then he forks me. Um, this move also stops you from playing here. I don't know if that's relevant. I don't really know why bishop f3 is the only move. Like, why not, for example, you know, king h8 to prepare bishop c6? Well, maybe actually this becomes stronger then. It's kind of funny. I wasn't worried about that until I put my king here. Now I am worried about h4, h5, h6. I mean, this looks pretty tough. The problem is you can't, like, run away with your queen because it's mate. And then this is just too strong. Yeah, I think that's the point of bishop f3, actually, to stop this plan. It's a little bit slow, but it's enough to, you know, if it drops, then you're in big trouble. And it's only two moves, actually. But even here, you still lose your bishop because of this fork. And then you'll have to be down a pawn here with black. Tough. Yeah, we saw that in another game, another tall game. He sacrificed all his pieces. Then with the best defense, he's a pawn up in an opposite color bishop endgame, and he won it. Mm. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But yeah, a lot of people, they're like, oh, I'll just play like really aggressively and sacrifice and attack my opponent. Then I'll win if I mate them, and I'll lose if it doesn't work, right? But that's not always like that, right? Sometimes your opponent can defend and, and just be a pawn down, and then you still have to win a technical endgame. Mm -hmm. So you that's have to true. be a good endgame player and have good technique no matter what your style is. John John wants to know if you ever sack because of a gut feeling instead of a calculation. Well, that's pretty rare. But, you know, obviously every time I play any chess move, I calculate, right? You know, no matter what... If it's a sacrifice or not, I'm calculating variations. But there might be a time where I'll play a move that, um, mm -hmm. I'll play a move that you know I didn't calculate it all the way till satisfaction. Let's say like I'll sack a piece, and in not in every variation do I win back the piece or mate. 
but I feel like I'll have good compensation. But that is pretty rare. Usually that, you know, I don't do that and most people don't do that because, you know, I, I've had sacrifices that don't work and then you're just like, I'm down a piece. <laughs> so, you know, you tend not to do that. But I have had times where I sacrifice and it's not 100% clear, but it, it was the right thing to do. But that is very rare. That's very, very rare indeed. Mm -hmm. But maybe after analyzing all this stuff, it'll be more common that I do that. Who knows? <laughs> maybe. All right. So um, instead of bishop takes d5 here, he played rook f3. And then they traded the rooks. But now Tall has won back his piece and is winning. He's up a pawn. Pawn up. Queen f4, x clam. This is the idea, clearly. And white won, he says. So I guess black didn't resign immediately, but white's two pawns up, so he won. You know, two pawns up is going to be a pretty easy win, especially Wait, cast pawn. I'm sorry, you said this is the idea, clearly. This, yeah, wins the queen. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see now. Deflection. Classic deflection. Mm. So... Yeah, Tall again, he sacrificed, his opponent didn't defend it perfectly, and he ends up with a technical win, which he'll have to win, but he can do it. It's up two pawns after all, and he's world champion for a reason. Yeah, sometimes uh, the sacrifices do end up to an equal position, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about the philosophy of sacrificing material, I like it. Yes. No, I mean, uh, Larson, is this Larson? Yeah, Larson didn't resign, but he did end up losing, of course, yes. All right, maybe one more? Yeah, definitely. I wonder, um, probably we should, um, yeah, I guess Ben doesn't really care when he starts, because he's starting early. When is he going to start? He's just going to start when we're, um, we're done in here. So I'm assuming that we'll raid him, and if that's the mm -hmm. case, then probably what makes sense is he'll need 10 minutes to set up or something. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that we have to relieve him necessarily, but we can go tell him like when it's time for him to set up. I figured uh, you know, when I was done with the, with the book, I'd go out there mm -hmm. and I'd be the front desk person. Yeah. And then I would tell him to get ready to stream. Yeah, we could do that. And then you would stream. You know, or you'd raid him, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. That's true, Matt Larson. I called him the Great Dane, didn't I? I must have. Well, let's Matt keep Larson? going a bit longer. I mean, because I like to try to do a two-hour stream. Yeah. So this is Kupre check with white against Misha again. It's like the Misha section, I guess. All right, so it's a classical Sicilian with bishop c4, so it's in. Queen b6, I don't know that move. Probably my dad knows this, I don't know. Knight b3. Actually, this does look vaguely familiar. But I don't know. I just don't know. Castle Kingside. And B4. <clears throat> Tall plays crazy but brilliant, yes. Even when he loses. Misha's Karen's middle name. Classic <laughs> joke. Okay, Ness, I'm sorry, so it's white. White supply. Okay. Probably you can guess mm -hmm. the move with not much analysis, right? I guess we're still in the same section. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Well, knight d5. Yeah, that's what he did. He likes to do that. <laughs> yeah, now, if a takes, knight takes, black gets a lot of counterplay on the queen side. This is hanging, and c2 is also pretty loose. I mean, it's not hanging, but you don't want to let me take, generally. And I can also break with a quick d5 as well to get more pressure on the white squares. So knight d5 avoids black's counterplay at the same time sacrificing. Here's what Penchenko has to say. Another questionable sacrifice. Perhaps white wanted to force the great tall onto the defensive. 
Because if A takes, knight takes, black gets counterplay, he says. True, black has to defend with a number of only moves. So let's see how tall defends it. Oh, nice, make, getting that coffee ready. Nice. Yay, thank you. ED and knight B8. So this is already ugly, right? Mm -hmm. But is it is it piece down ugly, right? Is it worth the piece to make the guy do that? Let's see. Bishop d4. So it's like he's stealing Tall's idea. <laughs> against Tall, of all people. But see, Tall analyzed his game against Larson, right? And which game was first? This was 1970. So yeah, he had already played Larson. So he played the move Larson should have played. Uh, G6. Oh, uh, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, so you know he was confident to play this, too. But anyways, the threat was Bishop takes f6, followed by mate. So you have to stop that somehow. You're not going to play h5 like I accidentally played, are you? Well, h6 maybe, but that looks worse to, than g6. Block the bishop, right? Rook f3. f5 is also interesting. Here's a variation that he gives. Bishop takes, f takes. f takes, rook takes. And then here... So obviously you can't play queen takes, but even rook takes gets lost here, right? So black should just play queen e6 x climb with advantage. He lost back his piece. Oh, he lost back. What did he lose back? He's up the exchange only instead of up a piece, right? He's up an exchange, yeah. Kind of complicated. But <clears throat> he, black is still up material. His bishop's hanging and the trade is threatened, which that is a threat to white because trading queens just would lose. It's down the exchange for nothing then. Mm -hmm. So this is great for black, yes, indeed. It's either he's going to have to sacrifice more material somehow with some crazy move or trade queens. I guess he could go here, though, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah, he could looking. go here. I didn't see that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, the game would continue here then, yes. The game would continue. But there's no threat against black now. Except this, I suppose. That is a threat, isn't it? That is a threat. Because then there's this, and then you're walking into the discovered attack. Even that might not win, though. Imagine I do that. Takes, takes, queen h8, king f7. I don't have a nasty discovered attack. I do. I have bishop g7, yes. I have bishop g7, which would win material. It'd only win the exchange, though. It would only win the exchange, and you give up a piece. See, there's not a serious, a big serious threat against black here, and black's up material. But black's position's tough, still. It's still some compensation. Because it's a tough looking position. But f5 doesn't win is the moral of the story. At some point you just have to say what's the point and that's it. f5's not winning. So he didn't play it. He played this. Two bishops about to else. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> and here. So he's trying to play like Tall did in the other game. Get the e-file. Mm -hmm. Hey, roller coaster. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Queen h4. Knight bd7. What do you think white would do if knight h5? Maybe the chat can figure out the the best way to handle this discovered attack. White to play. Oh, yeah. Knight a1 x-clam. Knight a1 would be good, but the queen is attacked, so... Otherwise, yes. Oh, Lev with the same joke as my dad. Nice. I like it. Guy's talking about Den Denmark politics here, I guess. Denmark and Germany. Friends at last. Isn't everybody friends with Germany? Well, except for one thing. <laughs> Some people are. Some people's got to be. Yes, yes, Nur. Nur's got us. All right, in order to figure this out, you have to pretend that the player with white is tall instead of black. <laughs> what would tall play? Um, I mean, he likes to sacrifice. What's his favorite thing to sacrifice? <clears throat> I'm sack the queen. Of yes. Me. All right. Now we're getting it. So what's the move? <laughs> All right. We have two choices. 
you take the knight or the bishop. We'll probably want to attack the king, right? Don't you want to attack the king? Yes, if you take the knight, then that opens... The g-file. Yeah. So after he takes back, what would you do? Um. Oh, yeah. Then you could go rook um, g3. With mate. Yeah, rook g3 has to go here. Rook takes mate. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that it was mate. Yeah, because the bishop yeah, is Yeah, dead. yeah. I see it now. <laughs> That's Seeing pretty cool. Seeing is believing. Boom, shot. I know it's a uh, basic mate. I just didn't see it. <laughs> so you can't play that. What else can he not play? Knight f d7. Now again, what would Tall do? Just do it. Nike. Um, White to play and win. It's mate in three or four. Um, queen takes h7. And after king takes? Rook h3. Bishop h4. Um, rook takes. A king g8. Um, rook h8. Mate. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Simple mating pattern here. Just gave up the bishop to save myself an extra move, right? Mm-hmm. Let me refresh this. Oh, it's ready. It's ready. What? Got us. It's, it's ready. Well, it was freezing up as well. Right, I mean. but now it's not. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you don't need to refresh it. Okay. Knight bd7 is what he played. Hey, Star Princess. Nice. How's it going? You got it. Nerd Ner loves sacking the queen. He, he, are, he always <laughs> figures it out. Yes. Queen h6. Queen b7. Getting a little battery going. Mm -hmm. Then the... Who are the fans that throw the batteries? I already forgot. <laughs> they could throw this battery, though. I forgot who they said. They said, too. I forgot. Hmm. Rook g3. So... Like we were saying, the sacrifice was dubious from Kuprechek, um, and Tall's defended it well. So black should be better or winning, I guess. Um, but Tall actually messes it up at this point and ends up losing because of this. He plays knight c5 question mark. I would consider that a very natural move, right? It looks really good. Mm -hmm. um, black could have played bishop b6 x clam. This gives up rook e7, that's why you would not do it, if you were wondering. And then we can take removing the defender, right? All right, we can try this. Get crazy, right? Might as well. Hey, thanks for the subscription. Thank you, Joe Adam, for that sub. Yeah, bishop g6 getting crazy, because things aren't going to work out here otherwise. Mm -hmm. They took your piece, and they're going to take another one. And you're already down a piece. So you got to try something. And this actually could work, right? This looks could work. I actually think this does work, but apparently it doesn't. Let's see what let's see why not. Check. <clears throat> King H eight. Ignored. Obviously if you take it, you're getting mated, right? So you gotta not take. And anyways, you took all the other guys' pieces, right? <laughs> you took every other piece, so just don't take one piece. <laughs> True. Uh knight g four X clam. Now the bishop can help defend. Is that him talking or is yes. he streaming? He's talking. Okay. Bishop g6 threatening mate. Rook f7 double x clam. Wow. This might be why Tall didn't play this variation. <laughs> he has to play here and then here. It's the only way to survive. So the point is if you take the queen. Thank you, Xanth, for that sub. If you take the queen, uh, you get mated like this. Mm -hmm. And then bishop moves away. I don't know if it matters. I'll go here just because it also attacks the queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then mate. Cool. But rook mm -hmm. f7 interferes with all that. Now we can run away. Like this. It is this to win back the queen now, though. Because mm -hmm. it's not mate anymore. All right, we're all done. <laughs> <laughs> With a clear advantage to black. <laughs> <laughs> it's so simple. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's three pieces for a rook. And you can't win back a piece right now because it's mate. Yeah. So I would imagine that's just winning. Simply winning. But the position is bizarre, <laughs> to say the least. Still a lot of work to do. 
So bishop b6 did win, but I mean, you're not going to calculate all that. So in a way, the sacrifice is almost impossible to refute, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, who's going to defend like that? Yeah. Play, plan on knight g4 and rook f7. No. And maybe if the position's on the board, you play that, but you're not going to plan on that several moves earlier. Right? Mm -hmm. There's no way you're counting on that to work. So knight c5. Now he's actually <laughs> lost. Takes, takes. F5, X clam. Free bishop. This is clearly bad. <laughs> this is clearly bad, right? Mm. He can still try, but there goes the rook. It's two pieces for a rook for black. Black's up material, but that's not a lot of material for this position. Threatening nothing, I guess. I thought it was threatening this, but it's threatening that. There we go. Mm. You have to like find the threat. It's tough. Right here. So let's see, D's kicking in there. Rook here. Rook e8. Yikes. This is like this is like the famous game uh uh Tall Fisher. I think Tall had white, where he got he doubled up on Fisher's eighth rank. And then Fisher's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rook e8, Queen F7. Rook H3, X clam, and resigns. Damn. If you take the queen, obviously it's mate. If you don't take the queen, I trade queens and mate you. Is there any other option? You can't, like, push the pawn because I can still take it. The knight's pinned. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I can't find another option. He just has no options. It's very sad when you have no options. <laughs> you could try like this. Uh, you can even just take that. That should win. Dang, Tall got beat pretty badly there. Yeah. But like I said, Tall would rather have white in a Sicilian. He likes to sacrifice and crush you. He doesn't like to look for counterplay like when he's under the initiative. Mm. Take out the queen. It seems like a... Mate. Was he a nice person? What was he like as a person? Tall? Yeah. yeah. Generally, I think he's known as a very nice person, yes. Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah, although he wasn't, he wasn't above a little bit of ribbing. Yeah. You know? Like, uh, for example, one time he signed uh, Fisher's name on a score sheet mm -hmm. instead of, like, the person wanted Fisher's signature and Tall just signed Fisher oh. because he beat Fisher so bad. Oh. <laughs> like, so I'll, I'll sign his name for him. <laughs> I have that right. But, uh, yeah, it's, I think generally people have just positive things to say about Tall mm -hmm. personally. What, what about, about H5? H5? Oh, yeah, a little bit better than H6. A little bit better try than H6. Let's see if I can beat it. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. That's me calculating. <laughs> yeah. This move looks pretty good. <laughs> I did it. I beat the move. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, that'll do. Mm -hmm. That'll do, donkey. <laughs> that'll do. Pretty much. Yes. So... Yeah, those are a lot of tall examples. Sometimes tall sacrificing and winning. Sometimes people sacking on tall and winning. It's tough being tall, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> John John got it. Yes, yes. I'm doing well, Dash95. How are you doing? All right, I guess I'll go back up front and talk to my dad about it. I don't know. Um, Let's see. We're at 134. It's already getting um, pretty close. Like people might come in and register for the tournament, and he won't know how to do that. That's true. He doesn't <laughs> know how to do any of that. Yeah, go ahead. I guess he can go All ahead right. and start setting up. All right. Um, I can play a couple of people here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's listening. Hey, it's Mark. Hey, Mark. Phone ringing. Okay. Well, Spencer, <laughs> Spencer's I'm on my coming way to up help front. You. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See you next time. Yeah. So I, I'm going to play a couple of people. If somebody wants to play to end the stream. But I don't know that that Spencer or Ben will have time to come back in here to analyze it. But if somebody wants to play, I can play real quick. Then uh, Ben is setting up right now, and he's going to stream in, I guess, about 10 minutes, which is earlier than what he usually does. But that's just the way it worked out. All right, here we go. But um, someone is pancaking. What? <laughs> yeah, early's good. 
Um, better than later. I guess I don't know if he's gonna still stream like if he's streaming the same number of hours or what he'll end up doing. Probably just wing it. <clears throat> I hear him talking. Can you guys hear him talking? <laughs> the light got brighter without Spencer here. It's This camera is so sensitive. If you change anything that's in the frame, then it looks different. <laughs> I assume Ben's setting up. He likes to talk a lot. So. <clears throat> yeah, have equal time. Let your pieces speak for you, okay? <laughs> I can try to do that somehow. Yeah, very poetic. When did you want to stop? Five um, to fifteen minutes? Yeah, just whenever you're ready. I have the computer in the front desk so I can redo everything. Okay. Ten minutes? Yeah, just let me know. What do you it doesn't matter. Whenever you're ready yeah, you we just can. read me, you know, you'll see what I get on that. Okay, yeah. Well ten minutes is good. All right. Do we sell Ben and Karen merch at the Chess Center? We do sell a little bit of merch, but we need to expand. Um, yeah, we do sell some though. All right, so this might be the last game of the stream, possibly. Uh, I guess the stream turned out to be a little bit shorter than I wanted. But hey, VC, uh, DJ88, how's it going? But Ben is, um, you know, set up a little bit quicker than I thought he would be. But we'll see. The Jazz Club's open. Um, tonight we have a blitz tournament. 
We have to get ready for that. I might even have to play in it. We, we can we can stream to, at the same time, John John. But generally, a lot of these people on my stream are on his stream, so it takes away from each of the streams. So that would be a reason, you know, to not do it, is all. But definitely we could. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, but Ben obviously would not have less viewers. <laughs> but just sometimes schedule wise, you know, I have very limited time that um I can stream. I agree it's not just about the viewers, John John. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Oh, he took my night. Uh, all right. Yeah, I need to add some more merch. Um, I have, we have some, some of the same designs can be put on different items. I've just been so busy. Yeah, hey Chester908. Georgia is looking good. Karen did it hurt. I must have missed something. I'm not sure what hurt. But, uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure, but, um, beautiful outfits, mother and mate, uh, Pick up line when you fell from heaven. <laughs> Are you resigned? Well, D G G dash ninety five. Obviously, you shouldn't you shouldn't um, resign against me because I blunder so much. Who is the second handsomest? Chess player. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's not something I think a lot about. I'm married. My two uh, sons are handsome chess players. My stepson's a handsome chess player. My husband's a handsome chess player. Then we start getting into non family. <laughs> So I don't know who's a handsome chess player. Yeah, I have two sons, John John. But, um, you know, out of all the ones that you would know about, like famous chess players, um, you know, I don't know. I guess I thought Grishuk was attractive when he was younger. But um, he's looking a little worn thin around the edges lately. <laughs> so who knows five minute unrated well I think Ben is streaming so if I can verify that probably going to go ahead and raid him and since the chess club is now open then I can go up front see if Spencer needs any help etc 
so let me see. He did just start. Let me refresh. Uh, he's talking nonstop, which would indicate some streaming. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry we didn't get to analyze our game dash 95, but um, maybe next time um, I can do you know normal stuff using the engine, but we're going to skip that today. But maybe next time, um, if you're on the stream, Spencer can go over it at the beginning of the stream. So anyway, oh, you don't mind? Okay. Sometimes it's good to have, just have fun and you know, don't feel like you have to always be learning something. So I agree with that. Okay, we got Raid, GM Benjamin, Fun Gold. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this stream. Love you guys. Go over with the Raid. Make me look good even if you don't want to watch Ben's stream. Although you should watch Ben's stream. So, bye.